Hello everyone, my name is Cesar Daniel Rojas Ferrer. I am from Hitachi, in Tokyo, Japan, and I will be presenting our work entitled Exploring the Effectiveness of Multi-User Basic Workflow Assessment Training in WebXR. We are facing an increasing demand for remote and flexible training solutions due to challenges like an aging society, which leads to a lack of a skilled young workforce, and conditions such as the COVID-19 pandemic help us realize the importance of effective online training alternatives. Therefore, we propose utilizing WebXR technologies to offer an effective solution for online basic workflow assessment training. We focus on HCI elements and offer several functionalities that are going to be introduced more in detail in following slides. It's important to mention that these initial experiments were done with one of our clients, meaning one of the targets for a real-world usage of this type of training solutions. Therefore, we can say with confidence that they obtained positive results indicating a high level of acceptance of the proposed stimuli, or in other words, of the proposed training solution, were quite encouraging for future developments in this area. Since our real end goal is to ensure the long-term adoption by our business clients of the proposed training solution, we first focus on the difficulties that make it so hard to go over the proof of concept stage, which is a common ending point for VR training solutions, sadly. That is where we identified that ensuring a good performance, smooth interactions, and accessible hardware are key points to focus on in order to provide an effective and useful training alternative. In basic workflow assessment training, it's quite common to have one or more evaluators watching closely a trainee perform each task, watching closely that he doesn't miss any step or that he doesn't commit any big mistake. Therefore, we replicate the experience utilizing Oculus Quest 2 to access a virtual space in which one role-playing engineer is performing the task, while three subjects acting as an evaluator are watching that he is performing each task correctly and effectively. The experiment starts with an explanation of the content, then the users put on a headset and experience a demo to avoid the novelty factor, and then they fill out a questionnaire about the preparatory experience itself. This is all to get accustomed to the whole workflow of the real experiment. Then they put on a headset again, and they use our prototype. After that, they fill out a custom-made questionnaire about the experience, and then we carry on with a group interview about the whole experience utilizing our prototype. That way, we could gather also some subjective comments in an open discussion format. Again, this solution is aiming to become a real-world product. Therefore, we need to ask for your comprehension and apologize because we cannot show the target equipment since we utilize our client's data for this and we need to protect confidentiality. Nevertheless, in this image, you can see the key components of the experiment that we carry on. On the top left, you see the engineer acting as a student, and you see his avatar performing each task step by step. The evaluators are the test subjects that offer their opinion about the presented stimuli, and an experimenter is monitoring the whole process. The engineer's case is also shared to all the evaluators via a gizmo, displaying where he's looking at frame by frame. After the experiment, we applied a customized user acceptability questionnaire consisting of 22 items, focusing on six factors that we identified relevant for our purposes. These questions were in a four-point Likert scale format, which is also called Ipsative questionnaire. This type of Ipsative questionnaires forces the user to either accept or reject the presented stimuli, avoiding any type of neutral answers. In our specific case, 3.0 score or more in the questionnaire represents a user acceptance of the presented system. We obtain 3.3, which is good for our purposes, as well as 3.0 or more in each of the six factors. We can conclude that it is feasible to implement an effective training solution with good acceptance scores utilizing WebXR technologies in a real-world business environment by focusing on key HCI concepts and including shared case functionalities. However, we are aware of the current limitations of the system, therefore we plan to add several improvements to the next version of the proposed solution, as well as utilizing in future experiments standard usability questionnaires to have a baseline with which we can compare our proposed solution with the existing literature. Thank you for your attention.